Friends, roadies, countrymen, and anyone listening around this beautiful, precious world, welcome to this podcast from me, J.E., John Edmund, out of the heart of South African bushveld. Yep, time flies, and we are gearing up for that special time and day of the year, Christmas, and the holiday season. For the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about my Christmas album called Christmas in Africa. Apart from the beautiful Christmas hymns that are sung around the world at Yuletide in many different languages, there were also songs about this joyous time here in South Africa. There's songs about snow, Santa Claus, reindeers, and they're played over radio, TV, and in public places. Here in the Southern Hemisphere, there are also many songs about this joyous time. I thought I would add a few, and since we don't have weather and traditions like in the Northern Hemisphere, the songs involve our surroundings and wild animals that abound and are not hibernating. When our spring begins, many birds have migrated to Southern Africa from colder climes and are breeding here. There are many species that do so, like eagles and other birds of prey. However, the most vociferous birds are the cuckoos that seem to be celebrating this time with their varied calls. There are 14 cuckoos that are resident here over Christmas, but only 12 of them call or breed here. Now, 12 is a significant number over Christmas time. Tradition has it that there are 12 days of Christmas probably referring to the 12 days it took the three wise men, or Magi as they were called, to get to Jesus when they'd heard that he had been born. It is said that they came from a far off land, and some say it was Parthia near Babylon. They followed that special star and brought myrrh and frankincense and gold as gifts. This started the tradition of giving gifts at Christmas. And so the song, Cuckoos Come Home for Christmas, about 12 cuckoos that talk about the 12 days of Christmas with 12 different calls. Of course, there are many other animals around, and one of the best places to see them are at drinking places known as waterholes. Now, Father Christmas is a very busy guy at Christmas time, going to all parts of the world, the wilds of Africa included. My song, Peace at the Waterhole, is about Father Christmas getting lost in the bush on his way to deliver toys to a remote village. He gets to a waterhole and asks all the animals what they want for Christmas. Although the young fledglings and young animals all had different wishes, like wanting to run, wanting to fly and wanting to roar, The biggest wish of all of them was that they wanted to be wild and free and not be persecuted. Santa Claus promised them they would get their wish. And so, folks, I come to the end of my podcasts for the year, as everyone has that holiday feeling. Wherever you go, may I wish you traveling mercies, happy holidays, and quality family time. And most of all, a blessed Christmas. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep an eagle eye on my website. And should you want any music, it's available on most popular music channels. From me and my team at Roan Antelope Music, here in the bush, thanks for your friendship and your support. Christmas greetings from Africa with peace at Christmas. I'd like to say that in African languages. Friede op Kersvias Aunt. Ukutulo ikisimusi. Merry Christmas and may 2023 be the best and mostly Zwakanaka.